guys this video is from interview.com interview.com is a job portal if you're looking for a job you can post your resume with us in this video i'm going to talk about what is array index out of bound exception in java java supports the creation and manipulation of arrays as a data structure arrays are massively used in programming as they provide very fast and easy way to store and access piece of data the index of an array is an integer value index means this is called as index that resides in the interval of 0 to n minus 1. Please remember 0 to n minus 1. It should not be n, it should not be negative value, or it should not be greater than n. Where n is the size of the matrix. If we request for an in index that is either negative or greater than or equal to the size of the array, then an array index out of bound exception is thrown. Array index out of bound exception is a runtime exception thrown only at runtime. It is not checked or it is not found during the compilation time, but it is it will be thrown at the runtime, so we should take care of that. The com Java compiler does not check for this error during the compilation of program. I have written a simple program to check this array index out of bound exception. So for that, I have written a string array which has four characters, and I am trying to access the fourth, actually the fifth element, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth element, which is not available here then I am expecting a, an array index out of bound exception that's what so this line is very dangerous because you are accessing the nth element but the but the way you should access an array is from 0 to n minus 1 but I am trying to access n nth element so that is dangerous so let's see the length is 4 can you see here length is 4 and I am trying to access so this line is very dangerous so we will be getting in array index bound of exception so this is how you will be getting an array index bound of exception so how do I avoid this don't try to access the nth element or you can also use array list there is another data structure you can use array list to avoid this hope this video is useful thank you and all the best